welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can probably see, I am currently standing in our nursery. I'm so excited to be filming this video. We officially finished his nursery and we are so excited. We are actually, as I'm filming this, three weeks out from our due date. So he is coming soon um, and it is really, really crazy, but we're so excited and we had so much fun doing his room. Um, it was a lot of work. I'm sure my husband would argue with me that it was a lot of fun. Um, I did have him paint this room three times, so that is why I say that. Uh, we originally did tan, and then we tried to go for a light blue, and it ended up being like a dark blue, and we ended up with the perfect like icy blue color that I really wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour and just kind of show you how I have things organized in here and everything for decor. And then if you guys want to see like a baby haul and kind of see like more of his clothes and some of the stuff we got for the shower. Um, I was just too excited and it was too much of a time crunch to sit there and do like a haul after both of our showers I just wanted to wash everything and get everything organized just in case um, and have everything ready to go for him so if you guys still want to see like a haul type video I could definitely do that and show you a bunch of his stuff um, but without further ado let's just get into his nursery tour so this is kind of what his room looks like overall so when you look in there's his dresser to the right, his crib, a nice window, his changing station, and then over in this corner we have his chair. So when you first walk in, right on the right is his dresser. And what we did, we actually bought this off of a swap and sell site. So um, it's just like a local swap and sell site that we have like linked through our Facebook page. And I saw this, we bought it for, I think it was $150. And it's like originally for a TV and then it has a couple dressers down below. But what we did was we actually put like a little um, rod in here so that we could hang all his clothes. So we have his clothes hung in here and then we also have some of his shoes like down below and then I have a couple of bins. So this bin just has some bibs in it and this bin is full of his books. So a little bit more of a close up. You can see the rod that we installed in there and all of his little clothes hanging and then down there his shoes and some organization bins. So on top of this dresser we have um, some little fake plants. These are from Target and then this frame I got at Hobby Lobby which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think it goes so well with the theme. I love that it's black. Um, it was originally like $25 but obviously I got it like 50% off because um, they're always having deals and I just put some of our maternity photos in there. These little boots actually, oh my gosh guys, these were mine when I was a baby. These were my little booties um, that I would wear like up to camp or at my grandmother's. So yeah, it's super cute that he will now get to wear them obviously when he grows into them. That little basket back there is from Burlington and it just has a couple of his little tiny like binky blankets and things like that in there. Another plant from Target. That lamp is also from Target. And then over here behind the light we have his little sound machine um, which was given to us as a gift and Amber, if you're watching this, thank you so much. We're so excited to use it. I think it's going to be perfect in here. Um, and it's a perfect little size that you can just kind of tuck anywhere. And it doesn't um, overwhelm the space at all. Okay, so moving down here. Um, in his dressers, I just have kind of things like organized um, and labeled. So I bought a label maker off of Amazon. And all of these little organizers are also from Amazon. Um, if I can find everything, I will link it down below. But as you can see, I use the label makers to label everything. So we have like his newborn bottoms, zero to three month bottoms, zero to three month long sleeve onesies. And then we have some socks and hats over here. I love these little organizers. I love that they come in different sizes. It comes as a pack of like six pieces or something like that for around $13, so I think it's well worth it. It fits into these drawers perfectly, um, and that's kind of how I have like all of his little clothes organized. And then also down here we have more clothes. So this is like his PJ drawer and swaddle drawer. So we have like his newborn PJs, zero to three month PJs, and um, some swaddles over here. These are like smallest to large swaddles. Um, and seriously guys, <laughs> stuff is just so cute and little we just are so excited I can't wait to put him in some of this stuff and it's so hard in the beginning because you don't know if they're going to be newborn or um preemie or zero to three right you know off the bat so we kind of have everything from newborn to three months in his dresser right now and then everything else we kind of have tucked away but that's what I have here in his dresser 
So then over here, you guys can see his hamper, which is already full because I've been buying him stuff here and there. Um, so these are just clothes I have to wash. How cute is this little outfit? Oh my gosh. From Burlington, it's like got little dress pants, little blue dress pants, and this little sweater. I couldn't resist. The outfit was like eight bucks. So yeah, I just have some clothes that I need to wash. His little hamper is from Marshall's. Um, I actually have two of these. They're two different sizes, but I think the large size was like $16.99. But it seems to be pretty durable and it's really easy to like carry down the stairs. And for baby stuff, since their stuff is so small, you don't need like a huge hamper. So this is the perfect size. And I love just kind of like the detailing. It goes with this room really well. Okay, so moving over to his crib. Um, the crib itself, my mom actually gifted to us, which is amazing. We have an amazing family and we really did not have to purchase much on our own for the nursery. Everyone just kind of came in and helped. Um, so it's been really wonderful, but my mom did take care of the crib for us. So thank you so much, mom. It's a beautiful crib from Target. We went together and picked it out. I absolutely love it. I think it's gender neutral and we could totally use this for a girl afterwards. And we definitely plan and hope for more kids. Everything we bought, we really wanted to keep like gender neutral, including his rock and play and his swing and just pretty much everything other than like the decor. Um, so yeah, this crib is really great and I think we will have it for a really long time. Um, this blanket was actually $9.99 from Target. It's really, really soft material and it's just got this like black kind of like crisscross detailing on it, which I thought was perfect for his room. It's just kind of enough print so that there's something going on and I like the black and white, um, but it's not too much. And then we just have a Burt's Bees gray crib cover on there or crib sheet. Um, over here, we have just a little pillow, which is really just for looks, um, and I got this from Hobby Lobby, but I just thought it was a nice little detail to throw in his crib. Of course, if he's going to be sleeping in there, we won't have anything for him to suffocate on or anything like that, but just for looks and everything, I thought that was cute. And then up here, you guys can see this little sign, um, and if you guys watch our videos, if you're not new to my channel, you probably saw the vlog where I shared this and kind of how we made it and stuff, but essentially, we just bought palette board from Lowe's and kind of made this, like, abstract, like, wood pattern <laughs> with them and then nailed them together. I got the letters and the antlers from Hobby Lobby along with the greenery as well. Um, so that is like the big centerpiece of his room with his name on it. I absolutely love it. It really gives it that like more masculine feel so it's not so like light blue and airy in here. Okay, so moving on to this section of his room. This is his changing table. Again, we just have the organic cotton Burt's Bees cover on his little changing pad to match his mattress. And um, this was actually gifted to us from my grandparents and it is a beautiful, beautiful changing table and dresser that we actually got off of Amazon. So again, everything that I can find online, I will leave link below for you guys. Again, if you guys watch our vlogs or anything, um, you will have seen me making this curtain. This is actually a shower curtain from Target and I really fell in love with the print. Um, all I did was I cut like the little curtain holes at the top and threw it on a curtain rod. So yeah, that is how we kind of made this curtain. Here, um, Kyle actually bought me this for Christmas when we first found out that we were pregnant, not knowing that we were having a boy, um, but it actually goes absolutely perfect in here. So I thought that was really special and something I wanted to save space for um, when we designed the nursery. And then on the wall here, I just have some baskets from Target and we just put little nails on the wall and then put these baskets up there for storage. This has his little washcloths in it and then this one has like little teething toys and things like that in there. Um, I think it adds a really cute nice detail to the room as well But then it's also nice for extra storage. So here in this first drawer I have a bunch of wipes just kind of stocked up over here I have one laying flat and then the rest of them are like stacked this way So the one laying flat is really easy to just open up and use so in here We have more of those Amazon organizers and I've just organized some of his more like medical stuff so a little teething toy and um, his thermometer and then in this bin back here we have a bunch of binkies 
In this next one, I have a um, baby powder, a baby lotion, and um, diaper rash ointment. So this is like just diaper essentials. Okay, so then in his second drawer down, I have a bunch of muslin blankets, and these are great for just pretty much everything I've heard. And then I do have some like standard burp cloths here, a bunch of those just kind of folded up. I do have some nursing covers back there. And then we have some receiving blankets over here. And then in this last drawer, so down here we have like all of his bath stuff. So we have a bunch of his hooded towels and then all of our back stock like bath supplies. So shampoo and wash um, and then like any types of baby lotions and powders. And we have his little like um, bath toys in here and stuff like that. So all bath essentials are kind of down here. And then we obviously will be bathing him in the sink downstairs. So I cleared one of the cupboards down there and we have like washcloths, one soap, um, and like his bath essentials down there. But this is just kind of like back stock in his towels. Okay, so moving over here, we have his chair. Um, we have a little stand here and just kind of like our little reading corner. So this lamp right here is just super cheap and expensive from Walmart. I think it was like $15. We actually already had it, so I just popped it in here since we don't have like a ceiling light. Um, this stand is from TJ Maxx and I absolutely love it. It has like the metal bottom and then the wooden top with um, these little like fake books to go on top. I got these at Hobby Lobby. Hobby and they actually open up so they're great for storage and they just kind of look cute. I got them in black and white so that they match his decor obviously. And in here right now I just have a little charger that goes to one of his sound makers. Um, so yeah, we just have those on this table here. So yeah, I absolutely love this table from TJ Maxx. It was $29.99. And it's so pretty. I love the wooden top and the metal bottom. I just think that's so cute. And then we have this chair that was gifted to us from my dad and his wife. Um, and it's beautiful. It was from Target. And it does not recline, so I'm still considering getting like a very small ottoman to put our feet up on. Um, this pillow here is from Walmart, and it was on sale, so I grabbed it. I thought it went perfectly in here. And then this blanket kind of has this nice like braided texture on it and I got that from the Christmas tree shop and then this sign over here was actually made for us um, one of my best friends from Connecticut made this for us and Meg I'm sure you're watching this so hello um, but yeah a beautiful little sign and I thought it really completed this corner like perfectly and it's just so sweet for his little reading corner so yeah guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing his nursery tour and just kind of how we have everything organized and decorated in his room. We are so excited and this is about to be the biggest and best change of our lives. Uh, with that said, I know that a lot of the content on my channel is naturally going to change. Uh, you guys know that I keep it super real and honest and authentic on my channel based on what's going on at my like with my life at the time and I definitely see my channel kind of taking a little bit of a different direction as soon as the baby arrives. It's just going to be more vlogging, I'm sure, mommy videos, baby videos, and things like that um, because I'm not going to be living the same lifestyle I am now. Things are just going to be different. So I hope you guys can respect that and appreciate it in its own way and I hope that you guys still follow along through this journey with us because we're going to need you guys and we appreciate your love and support so, so much. You guys are awesome. We love you guys so, so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! <sighs> I'm just gonna take a nap. Just a quick one. Like three hours. <laughs>